When we misuse substances, like drugs and alcohol, it can cause problems at work, school, and home. Fortunately, substance use disorders are common medical conditions that pregnant people and parents, like anyone else, can and do recover from. I started using opiates when my mother passed away in 2013. I was in a relationship with my kids' father. I felt if I started doing opiates with him, he would stay home more with us. How I got into heroin, there had been a, a drug raid on the reservation. The cops didn't find the narcotics, and uh, me and my, uh, my significant other found them. I looked at her and I said, you know, if we try this, you know, our, our lives are never going to be the same. And it wasn't. I was depressive and anxiety, so one of the medications they gave me was clonopin. And I went from taking it how I was prescribed to overusing and then wanting something more. What made me realize that I had a problem was overdosing in front of my son. And when I got home, I just waited for eight o'clock to come so I could call and make arrangements to go up to chemical health. I was very hopeless. Felt like there's no reason for me to be here anymore. I went to the chemical health to get an assessment. The moment that I realized I needed help is when I survived the car fentanyl overdose. The very first phone call that I had made was up to the Red Lake Nation Chemical Health Program. <laughs> and I was happy someone answered that day. Today we have effective treatments that can help with recovery. For instance, speaking with a counselor regularly can help people change behaviors related to their use. Also, taking certain medications may make the recovery process easier by decreasing cravings or blocking the high people might normally feel. Healing from substance misuse often involves getting help from a wide variety of people, including health providers, counselors, social workers, cultural and spiritual supports, supportive family and friends, elders, mentors, and recovery groups. Our cultural teachings are also very powerful. I'm very happy. Today, I love waking up knowing it's another day with my kids and my family and knowing that I'm here. I got me back, you know. <laughs> I'm back to myself again, you know, before addiction. Being able to have my son see me happy and healthy again, I could see the spark back in his eyes. He had his mom back. If you are worried that you or someone you love might be dependent on substances, you're not alone. There are many people and treatments that can help. A good first step is to talk with a health provider or staff person at your local substance use treatment facility. They can help you decide what treatments are best for you, your baby, and your family. They can also connect you with other important services and support in your community. And remember, as your journey continues, so will your understanding of how to care for yourself and your family.